What I go on YouTube Nation and me again, Mr. B. You know it got when certain things broke out on my yard, I have to add my advice to it. You know, because you know, say, when you do say nothing, you really I, I just encourage them man, yeah, to just go on and do their own thing. And my philosophy is very simple that when people take on a work, they need to do the work. May I talk specifically about the dead baby thing down the yard, right? Um, we see where some 14 infants, um, just born, some of them little, little older than just born, who succumb to bacteria infection in the public hospital sector down in Jamaica. And of course, the responsible minister is Minister Tufton. He is the Minister of Health. And my philosophy is that if he can't manage the work, he needs to step. And let me just make you know this. Because there, 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 you know, there's precedence to this thing. And, and I would like everybody out there to know, say, me is not a man with us, a one-side one, a one man take a lick after. In 2015, um, when the PNP was at the wicket, Fenton Ferguson came under the same kind of pressure for the same thing. And I was at the forefront of calling for his removal, right? Because my philosophy, as I said, is very simple. If you take on the work as a politician for, you know, administer certain ministries, you need to do the work. And if you can't do the work, you need to step, right? And so that has been my philosophy and may I utilize the same approach with this administration. And by the way, let me just say, you know, if you don't like the video, then you know, may I ask you, you know, subscribe to the channel so you, that when the next video drop, you know, say, you're up front, you know, where I go on, you know, because, yeah, Mr. B, we, we, we have a finger upon the pulse and we want, you know, keep the information going out there. If you like the, the video as well, press the like button and don't forget to share and, and Tell you what, also if you like the content or you have your own input that you want to make, just, you know, add your, your, your feedback in the comment section. But to the matter at hand, Fenton Ferguson was Minister of Health during the PNP administration and during his time, similar situation, as I said, um, with an outbreak of bacteria in the hospital sector. And him duck and him wiggle and him... You know, Bob and we were wicked like a like a a, 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 a boxer in the ring. I would get some punch back from Mike Tyson and George Foreman and Ali and everything. And ultimately, him throwing the towel because public pressure. That's what we need for do, right? He he left. I wrote multiple articles in the different newspapers, utilize the same media, and and I think, in fact, him him wife who used to work for me before them had married. Um, basically, Bex with me after that and not talk to me. But my philosophy is, you know, if 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 me can't tell you the truth, then me know why you run me as a friend. Me, me just to talk the truth. Chris Tufton have more pose than a domino factory. It was always my view that he's incompetent. I don't care how much PhD he have, right? One, one thing we know is that he's not a medical doctor. And, and you know, if you take on the work, as a minister of health and you can't manage your work, walk away. Don't sit down there and cock up your foot and go on like you fluff your, your feather like some Dominic Fowl where you know you just don't get a piece and you just don't lay some egg and thing. Like you're better than the people. Because the, at the end of the day, the, the, the ultimate test of your competence is how the ministry impact the ministry and it's it's you know the, the 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 role the ministry play in the life of the citizen how it impact them and right now the impact is very negligible people need to recognize though that the the, the coronavirus thing that walked through jamaica has literally moved 1.15 percent of the jamaican population 3220 of jamaicans died during the coronavirus um, pandemic and, you know, as a responsible minister, you know, I start out with a hell of a public relations campaign and then after a while, I'm just dash it away, right? And, and then people became just statistics that not important, if you will, right? And 3,000 Jamaicans died 
3,200 and odd Jamaicans die. And that is under your watch, Tufton. And you need to step. If you can't manage your work, leave. It is, it is, it is almost a disrespect. The way that this current administration is handling this, this this thing, and they were the same ones who them go up on the mountain top, on the church top, on the hill top, everywhere, and ball for the PNP if you step away. I mean, I like you, come I mean, agree with that. If you're not do the work, you need to walk, and and so I took, you know, my little platform, and I lobbied, and make a whole heap nice, and call for. Fenton Ferguson to walk away and eventually the PNP coalesced you know around the, the, the public pressure and Fenton stepped well you know he might not talk to me again at all he sent all kind of message you know tell people oh me had this and me had that but me not care because me have family who live in Jamaica right and my yard that the fact that I live up here in Florida, I mean, I'll go and like say, a Ray Ray, I'm in a business, right? And that is a problem with Wolf Power have. Because we have, we friend them in the ministry, them, and your, your friend is a minister or, or I get a benefit or you're there with one of them, and them where a top ranking party official. You don't see nothing wrong with what them are doing, right? And at the end of the day, that incompetence is resulting in the loss of life. Look at what we are doing with the crime portfolio. It's almost as if, you know, people are dead three, five a day and then are nothing. You know, we have an epidemic of murder in the country, just like how we have an epidemic of bacterial infection. Right? But to come back to the bacterial infection, me have, again, my brethren from upper, upper um, foreigner, you know, who... A medical man and a man with a serious medical practice here in the States. And he have his own little thing where he do down at Jamaica. Whole heap of pro bono work where he do down there. Free work, you know, uh, medical services for youth and, 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 you know, people who just don't have the resources. And he come down a yard and, and provide them services there. And he don't want nothing for it. But him himself tell me, you know, him say, Richard. The man them down a yard, incompetent. He said, I have never seen the, that level of incompetence anywhere in my life. And this is a man, me and him are the same age. You know, we're in our, we're in our 60s, so we are look, you know. But we are going still. And what he said is, is a known fact that bacteria is always going to be in a hospital environment, right? That's just the nature of the thing. Remember, people come there, people sick and, and whatever they might carry from them yard or whatever the ailment is. Residue of that are always there, you know, right? Especially you do operations in a, in a theatre, what you need to do is to sanitize the place. And so what a bacterial infection is, is an indication of is a lack of proper sanitation measures being undertaken, right? The responsibility of the administration of the hospital is to keep the place clean, keep the place in, a, in, in a such a state that people do not get infected and sepsis not take them and all them sort of thing, right? And when you bring a picnic or hospital, or you have a young, you deliver a baby in a, in a, in a, a delivery facility at a hospital, your expectation is that you go in the pregnant when you come out, you carry home a picnic. You know, I expect for carry picnic, go uh, the, 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 the carcass, go go bury it after you carry the baby for nine months. And so any ministry of health official, any government official who can see that when this the delivery of the service is not consistent with the expectation of the population and that you need to flash, it said that you not take people for granted. Right, and Jamaicans are allowing them to get away with this thing because nobody no one criticize nobody. Everybody afraid, you know. Who 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 no one do, do it because they're gonna lose them job or because any little little ray ray or drop off a head on shoulder, them not gonna benefit from it. So thing. and plus some of them are are, are are your friend. Me, I have no friend. 
right? That if you don't, if you in a something, you not do the work. Me go daddy and I buttress you. Me know you know that, right? And anybody who know me, I would know say watch out. Me is a man with me. Me I get both sides, right? We have a responsibility for hold these people responsible. Mr. Pernell Charles, I jump up in you know, the paper this morning and I talk about the PNP. I do this and Ray, Ray, Ray. I'm, you know, PNP look like them just a fine little steam because them necessary. It necessary for the opposition to keep these people upon them toes because if not, they are just gonna just grind in a behind and tell you say is a is a is a is a pile of or something. We, we have to do better than that. You know, we can't have ministers of government who are responsible for ministry. You walk around, you get a hold of you. Every, every bell will ring your hand said, Tufton does more work as a PR man, a, a, a boost up his image, than him do the work for, for deliver um, satisfactory health care to Jamaicans. Remember, we lose 3,000 Jamaicans, that is more than. With 1.15% of our population died during COVID. And a, a massive amount of that was caused by a failure of the medical system. The, the inability of the system to come together, right? To look at what is required to, to provide the support for the nation in that time of crisis. And at the same time, according to Dog newspaper, him giving nearly 30 or 40 million dollars to some gal where but uh, them are public relations um, um, contract and, and at the end of the day where the ministry get out there. The man that don't want Jamaica and uh, occupy them position there and them are fraud. Right? And we need to call them out. Tell me what I think. Eh? I know say me I cut me a lick hard you know, but I lick hard all the while because I don't know no better. My, me only have one way me look on them things. If you not do the work, walk. Right? You die the wicked and you can't manage the bowling. Just rub a edge and send it go out the slips and turn around and go back in. Now step on the wicked and go on. Right? Make somebody else who can do it better. The Jamaica Labour Party have some 47 members of parliament. They must can find somebody better than Tough Dan to get a portfolio to. Right? If it's even out of tokenism, but just to show some respect to the nation. Why? The same knife for Joe Cog, Joke Dog. When the PNP is dead there and the same thing I go on, when you tell the man to run with the PNP, I may not run with the, the minister. And me, now I go pretend because I was a big part of that advice. I mean, I don't really care which side of the political fence it is on. If, if the thing is right, I will call it out. Give me your feedback in the comments. And if you like the video, just press the like button, share with your friend. Let me know what you think. Respect.